Pricking your finger like this is typical for someone living with type 1 diabetes. Their hands become calloused. If you see, if you see a child who's been living with type 1 diabetes for quite a while, their fingertips and, and toes don't look like yours and mine. Here, wait until it hear, did you hear it beat? Mm -hmm. You have to check. You, it's not a matter of I don't want to hurt them. If you don't check their blood sugar, you could give them too much insulin or not enough. But foundations like the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation say they are making progress and improving treatment methods with a goal of a cure being in our lifetime. In terms of uh, progress in these technologies, we now have a first generation artificial pancreas on the market being used here in the Panhandle in West Texas. But making these kinds of strides can be tough without enough funds. We would love to reach 325,000 if we could. That's the goal for the upcoming Promise Ball right here in Amarillo. There's a lot of ups and downs with diabetes, as most people know. My dad came down with it when he was 16, type 1 juvenile. Um, he, it's it's just up and down all the time. There's always something going on, and it is a struggle for everybody, and I would love to see a cure for it. The foundation says that's why they hold events such as the upcoming Promise Ball, to raise funds to continue improving the lives of those with type 1 diabetes. In Amarillo, Jillian Idle, ABC 7 oh, News. And then you take your meter and hear, wait until it hear, did you hear?